up, it's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Finland's Crips Remnants of Expansion on Dark Descent Records. And we're also going to be trying out some new camera equipment. Have a tripod set up right now with a wide angle on. We also have all sorts of lenses and other cool stuff thanks to Pat Hopkins. Fuck yeah, so expect some, you know, higher quality content. I don't know, I'm stoked on these lenses and shit, sick, have a fisheye, all sorts of stuff, it's fucking dope, lights, microphones, fuck yeah. But today, we're gonna be going over Swallow the Suns, The Morning Never Came. I have the original Firebox release, and then I have the Olympic Records reissue with the Candlemass Solitude cover. Now, this is some of, hands down, the best fucking funeral doom ever to come out of Finland right up there with fucking their goffin it's just wow so fucking good and the morning that never came in my opinion is one of Swallow the Sun's strongest releases it's from uh, 2003 and holy shit does this hold the fuck up if you heard their last album, then you know how goddamn good it was. And this just, it's pretty much the same fucking format. And they just, when it comes to playing like atmospheric slash funeral doom, death doom, whatever the fuck you want to call it, this is pretty much as atmospheric and crushing as it can get pretty much. Like I said, there's bands like their Goffin and whatnot, but Swallow the Sun are really, really more about the melancholy vibe of Funeral Doom than, you know, sonic fucking power. But at the same time, this is heavy as fuck. And it's awesome. I love this release. And um, I'm going to go over the... Uh, Firebox Records version first without the bonus track. The only real difference is a little bit of sound quality and one extra song. But this just, I don't know. Look at that artwork. It really, really, you know, pr it pretty much drags you the fuck in. And just from track one to nine, it's just like, holy shit. This is fucking awesome. And it's really cool too, like all the song titles are written on these like runes on the back, carved in the wood. It's fucking sick. You have Through Her Silverly Body, Deadly Nightshade, Out of the Gloomy Night, Swallow Horror Part 1, Silence of the Womb, Hold This Woe, Under the Waves, and The Morning Never Came on the Firebox release. Some sick fucking artwork. Well, photograph, whatever. I really need this on vinyl. This is seriously one of my favorite fucking Doom albums. And I'm happy as hell to be able to go over it with you guys. Seriously, if you like fucking riffs and just, you know, your fucking doom, like, really melancholy and, like, at the same time, like, triumphant at the end of the record, this is perfect fucking for that. And their candle mask cover is amazing. Like, seriously. The vocals on here go from good cop to bad cop, but not in a corny way, like, it's mostly, you know, like, but then at the same time, you'll get these really beautiful semi-spoken word passages. It's just fucking, it's an amazing release, like, everything about it, it's just fucking sick. And here is, um, the Olympic Records version. I'll show you, it's the same cover and stuff, but, um, like I said, you just have one extra track, and that's Solitude. So, fuck yeah. Well, this is nine tracks. The original's eight. I'm sorry. Don't kill me. But, pretty much, like, 
like I was saying, the only real difference is a little bit of sound quality and um, I'm pretty sure that there's actual, hold on one second, I should have done this ahead of time. Okay, yeah, there are lyrics through both. I didn't know if one had, you know, lyrics in Finnish or if one had lyrics in American, English, Jesus fucking Christ. I sound like an idiot today, but this is so fucking good, like, seriously, such a killer fucking album. Like, through her silverly body, deadly nightshade, out of this gloomy light, swallow horror, part one, silence of the womb, hold this woe under the waves, the morning never came, and solitude, the bonus track on the Olympic Records version. So you pretty much have the same record, just like I said, a little bit better quality on this version. And that's just based on the year and stuff, but like, so much cool shit on here, like hold this woe, I will bury these wounds with you, I will be gone by nightfall. Silence of the womb, we prepare for our final straw when the winter swallows the sun. Fuck yeah, that's sick. Like, all sorts of little, like... Under the waves, the lakes, my silent lovers, whisper from deep black waters. Ice would keep the ghosts down. Their mournful song froze my heart. It's like, fucking amazing poetry. Like, it's fucking gorgeous. I'm telling you, everything about this album is both crushing fucking devastating and at the same time has a ray of hope at the end of this tunnel of fucking darkness and desolation like it's fucking amazing that a band can really do that can capture your fucking like your vibe at the time and depending on your mood you're gonna get a different type of listen out of this album like not to get all hippie-ish on you guys but like Seriously, like, that's how powerful an album like The Morning Never Came is. It's something that you throw on and it's just like, if you never heard it before, you're gonna be like, wow, this is fucking sick. Like, I don't believe I was slacking on this. And then as soon as, like, the riffs kick in and the atmosphere and just, like, the mellowed out guitar parts with the fucking crushing guitar parts on top of it. It just creates this very, very claustrophobic, yet, like I said, triumphant atmosphere. Like, you know, that there is light at the end of the tunnel, that, you know, the eclipse will pass. And that's the way it is, you know? Like, when the moon does swallow the sun, it eventually, you know, goes back to the way that things are supposed to be because that's just the way life is and when it comes to funeral doom and whatnot I don't know why Finland does it so fucking well but it has to be something to do with you know being the land of 10,000 lakes or whatever but also just the way that the winners are over there and whatnot like it just has to get under your skin after a while, like, just living in, like, perpetual darkness. And, you know, imagine having your, like, heart broken by, like, you know, somebody you, like, thought you were gonna marry or something, but you live in this place that's just constantly dark, depressing, snowy, cold, and just fucking grim, you know? Like, I can't even imagine what it's fucking like, you know? But at the same time, I understand because you get killer fucking music like this out of it. And any time that a band can find a muse within their fucking home environment and create something as magnificent and something that stands the test of time the way that The Morning Never Came did, it's just fucking sick. And I wish more bands could, you know, take a page out of, like bands like this is book you know just by adding atmosphere like on top of like being heavy as fuck like it's sick that's one of the main reasons why 
I put Crips on right now. First off, this is some killer finish death doom, but you can also just hear the massive amount of atmosphere thrown into these crushing fucking tracks. It's amazing, and Finland does it better than anyone else. And I have to just give Swallow the Sun, The Morning Never Came, a fucking 10 out of 10. This release, depending, it doesn't even matter which version you get, because they're both fucking magnificent. Just the one, the Olympic Records version, has the Candle Mask cover on it. And it's fucking sick, and I'm sure that there's more reissues since then. Um, this is the 2005 reissue on Olympic Records, and uh, the original from Firebox is just uh, 2003. Good shit, fucking, like I said, this is one of my favorite Funeral Doom records ever. So, I would just really, really check this out. If I had to pick some favorite tracks, I'm gonna have to go with, uh, Through Her Soberly Body, Deadly Nightshade, Silence of the Womb, Under the Waves, and the title track, The Morning Never Came. And on the reissue, the fucking Candle Mask cover is just pure fucking fire. Seriously, so goddamn good. I love Candle Mask, and I know I'm slacking. I have to pick up some Candle Mask vinyl for you guys. But for now, we've been blasting Finland's Crips Remnants of Expansion on Dark Descent Records. I know they just got some reissues of this in, so... If you want to get this on vinyl, fucking go to the Dark Descent Records website and pick up this fucking beast. Because that's what this is. This is so goddamn good. Fucking five tracks of just seriously, absolutely amazing fucking Death Doom from Finland. Killer artwork as well. Just amazing stuff. And if you like fucking Crips and stuff, then you have no excuse not to even check out Swallow the Sun, let alone I'm sure you guys are gonna love this if you haven't heard it yet. And I know I had, um, I forget who was asking, it might have been Edgar. Um, the Olympic Records version, um, hit me up below about this, because I'm gonna keep the Firebox, the original version, so... Hit me up about that, and uh, I'll let you know what's going on with it. But um, also, the artwork's just a tad bit darker on the Olympic Records version than on the original. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't take away from the sound, because just wait until this fucking record grabs you by the fucking heartstrings and starts pulling on them. And, you know, you start getting that fucking knot on, like, hell yeah. This fucking rules, and then when the heavier parts come in, it's just like, yes, this is fucking awesome. Why was I sleeping on this band? It's like that. But yeah, we've been blasting Crips, Remnants of Expansion. Check out Swallow the Sun, The Morning Never Came. These are both 10 out of 10 albums, and Finland just always killing it, always putting out some of the best fucking doom in the business and as always thanks for watching thanks for everyone's fucking support lately and especially a giant thank you to garth pat hopkins grim trash can everybody because this shit is sick like getting to choose lenses is a big deal for me and getting to have a new microphone a fucking tripod set up like, it's sick. I can be one of those guys. Like, hey, look at me. I'm gonna go get coffee. But nah, anyways, thanks for watching. Hails, and you know, keep it fucking evil and stay deaf.